The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning or afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh. I'm the Director of Support for BNI Connect. I'm also the Director of Training and Documentation. Uh, thank you for joining us on the webinar today. Today's webinar is a live webinar. It is um, on the online SLIPS program in BNI Connect. So how to enter SLIPS, what happens when you enter an online SLIP, um, and some of the benefits of using an online SLIP within BNI Connect. Uh, this webinar is scheduled for 30 minutes of content. Um, I will also always happily stay on the webinar as long as people have questions to make sure that they're all answered. The webinar is being recorded. It will be made available uh, probably in a few days on youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. That is our uh, YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. Up here you can find a ton of recorded material, all of the different webinars that we do and some messages from Dr. Meisner. Please also join us on facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. And this is our Facebook page where we do some updates and announcements and uh, tips and tricks and things like that. So uh, I'd love to see you on both of those places. But let's get started on the content for today. Now, the online slips program allows us to turn in all of those slips that we traditionally pass at a BNI meeting, the thank you for closed business, the referrals, the one-to-ones, and the CEUs electronically through BNI Connect. Now, just say right up front, this is not to in any way to replace that portion of the meeting. That, that part of the meeting, we still absolutely want to stand up. We want to talk about our referrals. We want to talk about our thank you for closed business, our one-to-ones. Um, but at that point, the slips have already been entered. Now, there's a couple of benefits for doing this. Uh, one is it gives us some additional tracking ability as a member. Now, I'm a member in Rhode Island. I've been uh, a member here since 2002, so I'm coming up on 12 years. And to me, what I've always done is to keep either a separate spreadsheet or to keep a you know, rubber banded list of, uh, of the duplicate copies of the referrals and then just tote them around with me. Now I can keep those all electronically. As a bonus, the vice president has a lot less work to do because they don't have to sort out all those paper slips at the end of the meeting. But I'll get into more of that uh, a little bit later in the webinar. This is the home screen. I am in our test system right now. As I said, I'm a member, so I don't want to mess up any of my own statistics. Um, but the things that you'll see when you log into BNI Connect are up at the top here. This is basically your personal POMS report, and it'll show you your data for the last 12 months, as well as for your lifetime in BNI. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this set of numbers at the top will only change on a weekly basis after your vice president has submitted the official POMS report. So when you're entering slips online, you'll, you will notice that these numbers up top will not change right away. The vice president still has full control over the POMS report. They still do need to verify the online slips that were entered, and they also still need to count any paper slips that might have been entered during that meeting uh, from people that haven't submitted them online. So only after that is done will these numbers up here at the top change. Now at the bottom of the screen you'll notice that we have all our different options for the things that we can do with the slips in BNI Connect. So let's jump in and, and take a look at what some of these slips look like. You'll notice the first one here is the Enter Thank You for Closed Business slip. This is for if I wanted to, a, a referral was passed to me, it has now turned into business and I want to thank somebody in my chapter for generating that business for my company. So I would click on enter thank you for closed business. Now what you'll see when you click on that is a couple of different things. It looks almost identical to the slip that we currently fill out on with pen and paper. First thing we would do is just select somebody from our chapter. So we have a drop down list here that'll list all of the members of your chapter. Let's say that uh, Greg Bressler, he's a member of my chapter, he's a builder. Let's say that he referred business to me that resulted in closed business I wanted to thank him for. I would choose Greg from the list. You'll notice that his name now shows up here on the top in the thank you to Greg Bressler. And let's say this was a referral in the amount of uh, $1,000. So I'm going to put in $1,000. Uh, I'm going to omit the commas and dollar symbols. I'm just going to put the numbers in. 
this was new business. It was an outside referral. Now, the great thing is I can also fill out comments here. The comments of the thank you for closed business are 100% private to you. The vice president does not see the comments. Uh, myself, as a system administrator with godlike access to BNI Connect, I cannot see the comments that you put into this field there for your records only. The great part about that is that I can put in whatever I'd like. I can even put in that this was was a referral to Jane Smith for new business. So I can put anything I'd like in there and I can save that. Now once I've verified all of these pieces of information, I have a couple of options at the bottom. If I hit save and new, this will submit this slip, essentially drop it in the virtual basket and it will also open up a new thank you for closed business slip. So if I have, let's say, my, my printout from my QuickBooks, I can go through it one by one by one really quickly and enter them all in a row. The submit button will just submit this one slip and bring us back to the previous screen. If I hit close, it will cancel the submission of this slip and we can start over again. Now I'm going to go ahead and click save and new so I can show you another option here. So you can see it started a new slip for me. Now the other option we have here, and this is only available in some regions right now, will be available worldwide eventually, but in some regions right now you may see a search cross chapter button. Now this would be if somebody from another chapter within my region, so I, I'm in the Rhode Island in southeastern Massachusetts region, so anyone from the 50 or so chapters in, in our region, if I've established a relationship with them and they passed me business and it turned into thank you for closed business, I can search for that member across our region. I do that by clicking search cross chapter. I just need to put in a couple of characters for either their first name, last name, or company name. So let's say this person was from Cyber Technical. It's a company that's in the northern part of the state that I do business with. I can click search. And I can see that right here, David Cordero, he's in the CityBiz chapter from Cyber Technical. And let's say that he referred me business that resulted in closed business. So I'm going to check David off here. I'm just going to say, am I sure that I want to select David? I can click cancel and go back and select somebody else. Or I can click OK. Now you'll notice that David Cordero is listed up here in the thank you to portion. And let's say that this was a referral in the amount of $800. It was repeat business and it was for um, Acme Company repeat business. Now this time I'm going to click submit because I've done all of the thank you for closed business that I would like to do for this particular person. So once I've submitted that slip, the great thing about this is that I now have a record of submitting this slip into BNI Connect. Uh, previously, once you turn that green piece of paper into the basket, you can no longer see that information anymore. Um, it's now in the basket, it's, it's gone for good, so unless you are keeping track of that information somewhere else, such as on a spreadsheet or Elsewhere, uh, there's no way to really know that that was turned in. We now have complementary reports for all of the different slips. So, for example, we have the My Thank You for Closed Business slip down here. Um, this is a report of all of the slips that I've turned in online. By default, it's going to show you the last six months, but you can always go back and choose any time frame that you'd like to. I'm going to click Go. And this is my thank you for closed business report. So let's say that a uh, couple of months go by and uh, one of the people from my chapter, let's say John Forty, comes up to me and say, hey, you know, I had passed you that referral a long time ago. Did that ever, uh, did you ever turn in the thank you for closed business for me? I can go back to this my thank you for closed business report and see that, yes, as a matter of fact, on March 5th, I did turn in a slip to John Ford for $500. It was new business, it was outside business, and I can even read my notes that I put onto that thank you for closed business slip. And it says this was for James Jones that he referred to me. So I can go back to, to, uh, to John and say, yes, indeed, I turned that in, the one for James Jones, and it was all set. 
If I'd like to put this into a spreadsheet, I can always export this or print it out. Now the second type of slip that we can turn in is a referral slip. So to do that, I would click on the Enter Referrals. And this looks just like our referral paper referral slip that we have in the meeting. It even has the temperature gauge over on the right-hand side. The same things apply to this one. I just need to select a person from my chapter that I would like to pass this referral to. So let's say I'd like to pass a referral to James Lawrence. He's the uh, wills and trusts attorney in our chapter. And this was a referral to um, Martha, Martha Jones. This was an outside referral. I've given, that, I've given Martha his card and also told Martha that um, he was going to be giving her a call. I can put in the address information, so on their street in Providence, Rhode Island. I can put in Martha's telephone number and Martha's email address. I can also put in any comments. Martha needs a new will. And also uh, call me for any additional details. I can rate this referral on a scale of 1 to 5. So I'm going to call this one a 3. And again, I can choose either Save and New if I have another referral to put in right away. Or I can click on Submit. I'm going to click Save and New. We can also pass referrals to anybody else in our region. So if you are building relationships with other people in other chapters within your region, you can search cross-chapter for those members as well. Now again, if that button is not available, please talk to your executive director or the director consultant for your chapter for when that will be available in your area. But again, we just need to put in the person's uh, name, last name, or company. So I have somebody in my region. His name is Joe Grimes. He actually owns another computer company. I found him here and I'm going to click his name to select him. And I just need to fill out the rest of this referral information. So this one is for Acme Company. It was an outside referral. I gave him the card. They're at 1 Here Street and Warwick, Rhode Island, telephone number, email address, and I can tell him to call John, the purchasing manager. I'm going to call this one a 4 on the temperature scale, and I'm going to click Submit to hand this referral in. Now, as with the thank you for closed business slips, there's a complimentary report so we can see all of the referrals that we've passed online in BNI Connect. And we can see that in the My Referrals report. So if I click on the My Referrals report, by default it's going to show you the last month's worth of referrals. But of course, you can just click here to select a new date. So let's say I'd like to go back to December 1st to see all of my referrals. And then click Go. And here are all the referrals that I've passed within BNI Connect. So again, I can go back and I can review my history of those. Um, what's, I am on our test server right now. What's coming up in the very next version, I'll, I'll be showing you the referral tracking sheet. And at that point, you can also track the status with the other member of if that referral is still new or if it's pending or if it's closed or if it resulted in a no sale. The other great thing about the online referrals is that the other member will receive a notification immediately about that referral. Here's what those referral notifications look like. This is an actual referral that I received a few days ago uh, here in BNI Connect. This was from another member in my chapter. His name's Ken Neff. He sent me a referral on the 12th of March. It was an outside referral. Was told that I would call them. It was rated a 4 on the temperature scale. Here's the referral name and company name. has the address, the phone number, and the email of that particular person. The comments about that 
referral, and it also includes all of Ken's contact information. So if I need to contact Ken and either get more information, I don't have to go digging through my address book, I can either just respond to this email, which he will get, or if I'm looking at this on my cell phone, I can even just click the phone number here, and it will start dialing Ken's phone number. At least that works on my cell phone. So the next type of slip that you can enter is a one-to-one -one slip. So if I click on the enter one-to-ones, what we need to do again is we can choose somebody from our chapter. So let's say that I uh, did a one-to-one -one with Seth Jacobson. He's the photographer in my chapter. We can mark down who's, who initiated that one-to-one, -one, what the location was, the topics of conversation, and the date that we met. And let's say that we met on Tuesday. I can choose Save and New, or I can choose Submit. Now the Search Cross Chapter, again, this works exactly like the other two slips. You can search for another member in your region that you had a one-to-one -one with. I'm just going to go ahead and click Submit here. As with the other types of slips, there is a companion report that goes along with that, and that is the My One-to-One -one report. Uh, to me, this is one of the biggest benefits of these types of reports. If you've ever sat in your chapter meeting and you've looked across the room and say, hey, you know, that's one of my best referral partners. I wonder if I, why I haven't been able to give them any referrals lately or why I haven't received any referrals lately. A lot of that a lot, a lot of times that's because we haven't done enough one-to-ones with that member or we haven't done a one-to-one -one with them recently. This is a great way to track your history of one-to-ones that you've done with other people. So by default, this is going to show you the last six months of activity, and I'm going to click Go. So I can look back on this list and say, hey, you know what? I haven't done a one-to-one -one with uh, Frank Karpowitz in about four months. I really need to make sure that I get back in touch with him and do another one-to-one. -one. And as with all the other reports, we can export this report or we can print this report on paper. Now the great thing about the one-to-ones is that both of us will get credit in, in our POMS report for having that one-to-one. -one. So only one person does need to submit the online slip for that. If the second person goes to submit it, it will give us a message that says, hey, you know, Frank already submitted a one-to-one -one slip for this particular date. Are you sure that you want to submit another one? At which point you have the opportunity to, to override that if you did happen to meet with the same person twice in one day, or you can choose to cancel that action. Now the final type of slip that we can enter is the CEU slip. And the CEU slip looks like the gold slips that we have in our chapter meetings. The nice thing about this slip is that it does all the math for you, which is great if you have a 7 o'clock in the morning meeting. But you can see the different types of continuing education units or chapter education units. All you need to do is put the quantity of those particular types of training. So let's say that I read SuccessNet this week and I went to a one leadership team training and I finally finished that book that I was reading. We can see that it gave me the one credit for the success net over here. It gave me the three credits for the leadership team training and it also gave me the five credits for the uh, book that I finished reading. If I had put in another number, let's say that I went to two workshops as well, it would also do the calculation for that. For this slip, I do have the option to submit this, or again, I could close and cancel the submission of this slip. Now, this slip also has a companion report, and that is the My CEU report. So this, again, is going to show you the, the last six months' worth of activity. I'm going to click Go, and we can see all of the CEU courses that we have taken. And it gives us a nice total here at the bottom. One of the other great parts of this online referral system is that when you receive an electronic referral, you do get the email notification, but it also puts that referral into the referral tracking sheet. So if you think back to your member success program, 
one of the things that we teach is that you should track the progress of your referrals. So when did you contact them? Did that referral ever close? When did you follow up? When did you meet? You can do that electronically through BNI Connect Now. And you can do that through this referral tracking sheet. So if I click on referral tracking sheet, I can choose a date range. By default, it's going to show me one month, but I can choose a different date range if I'd like to, so I can go back in time and look at all of them. I can also choose what status if I only want to look at new or only the pending or closed or no sales. I'm going to look at all. And I'm going to click go. Oh, I guess I can only look at six months at a time. I apologize for that. And I click go. Now these are three referrals that I've received in BNI Connect in this test system here. One from Bob, the referral to Bob Jones, the referral to Jan Burtwell. I can also go in and edit these referrals so I can start to track the progress of them. So let's say this referral to Bob Jones, I'm going to click on edit here. And I can now keep track of all of the different pieces of information. I can change the status, so whether it has gone from pending to closed or if it resulted in a no sale. I can track when I first contacted them. So I can see that I received the referral on the 15th of January. I contacted them on the 15th. I established a meeting with them on the 25th, and then I followed up with them on the 28th. I can also put in here if I'd like to uh, track through the sheet if there was thank you for closed business. Now one thing to note if I do put in a thank you for closed business number here, this does not affect the POMS report in any way. So there's a reminder up here that it does not impact the POMS report. I would need to submit a separate slip for this at this time. And I can also track whether this resulted in a spin-off referral. If I'd like to, I can change the temperature of the referral as well. So I can go ahead and submit these changes. If I'd like to, I can also add referrals in that I may have either received on paper, or maybe I received them through another source. Uh, perhaps it was a referral from another chamber member or something like that. If I'd like to track those through here, I can click on the Add New button. And again, this will not impact the POMS report in any way, but I can track all of the information and all of the details of that referral through the system as well. Okay, let's go back to the home screen here. All right, Carol, I do see you have a couple of questions. I will get to those questions in just one second. The referral tracking sheet also has its own report called the referral tracking report if you'd just like to look at the details of all of those pieces of information. You can also export this report and or print it out on paper. So one question that I get asked a lot is, okay, well, it's all well and good that we're submitting these online, but what are we supposed to do during that referral testimonial portion of the meeting? Well, there is a personal meeting activity report that you can use before your chapter meeting. Now, by default, it's going to show you the activity for that one particular meeting, your next upcoming meeting. I'm going to click Go. And what we'll see here is that this now shows all of the referrals. So it actually gives us our referrals in the same size of the referral slips that we currently pass in the meeting. So what we can do is if you want to be uh, counted for the door prize, you can print these out and you can cut these out and drop them into the hat or the bowl as it's going around the room. The other great part of this report is that it organizes the information that you should be announcing and talking about at this portion of the meeting. So I think this is going to answer your second question, uh, Carol, that says if it's not submitted at the group meeting, does this uh, not then diminish the live enthusiasm of the group? And again, we're not trying to change this portion of the meeting at all, that still goes on. So you would stand up during this portion of the meeting and you would say, I had a referral for uh, Joe Grimes for Acme Company, I had a referral to Joe Lamastro for myself, I had a referral to James Lawrence for Martha Jones, I had a referral to Larry Fish for Jane Smith, I had a referral to Dean Boucher for Harry Smith, I also had thank you for closed business for Frank Carpwitz for 2000 for Ian for 2500 one-to-ones with these people and these CEUs. 
So you still do want to absolutely participate in that portion of the meeting. Now, what if you forget to print this out before the meeting, or what if you uh, simply just don't have a printer at home, or you don't want to print this out? That's okay. Uh, our recommendation for that, so that you can be included in the door prize, is to just fill out a regular referral slip. Now, if you do that, though, what you really need to do is make sure that your vice president doesn't double count that, because all of the slips that were entered online have already been put into, the, into that meeting's POMS report. What we do in our chapter is we'll fill it out on the regular slip, and then we'll put a big X right through the middle of that form. To, and that lets our vice president know, don't count this one. I just wanted this in for the door prize. Uh, the other thing I do is I write in the, in the comment section of that referral, entered online, so that there can be no doubt that uh, this was already entered into BNI Connect, and the vice president can pass that particular slip by. So, Carol, does that answer your first question as well? Excellent. Uh, we have another question here from Philip Waldman. Uh, he says, will CEUs be a system used in the UK? We only have a training that is tracked, and we don't get points as you seem to. Uh, Philip, for that, I would recommend that you talk to your executive director and or your national director. Uh, they will uh, let, they have more information about how they are going to roll out the CEU program in the UK. So I do know that it is part of this SLIPS program, and when you guys go live with the SLIPS program, uh, I believe in, in the next upcoming months that this will be a part of that. Um, but definitely check with your executive director, check with your national director, and they'll have more information for you on that. So hopefully that answers your question, Philip. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, from a vice president's perspective, what does this look like now? Um, let me switch over to my own chapter here. So United States, I'm in the Rhode Island region, and I'm in the Wakefield chapter of BNI. Now, as a vice president, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to, after our meeting happens this week, I would go in and enter my POMS report. So I can do that through the Enter POMS function. I can also get there through Operations Chapter Meeting Management. So I would choose the meeting date, which is this, actually today and click on Enter POMS. Now, as a Vice President, what I will see is that a lot of these totals have already been entered in. So, this is the second time I've done this demonstration since this, this uh, chapter meeting. So, we have a, a thank you for closed business to Ian Barlow that has already been entered. We can see a referral from myself to Dean Boucher has been entered, so a, a referral received, an outside referral was entered between Dean and myself. There was another thank you for closed business to Gregory Bressler that I entered today. We can see the referral that I passed here to James Lawrence. And we can see my stats here at the bottom. So I had one received referral, uh, re one inside given referral, four outside given referrals. I had three one-to-ones. I wasn't thanked for any business. And I had 45 CEUs. Now, the vice president can track this as well because it, we have an audit report. So if, they, if the vice president clicks on the SLIPS audit report, this will show all of the activity that happened online in the system. So they can effectively balance what has been entered online and all the SLIPS that they're sorting through that were entered on paper. So when they have these two things together, they should balance out. Now, visitors, when you enter visitors into the system, one thing to note is that when you enter visitors and you select the person that invited them, that person will also get credit in the POMS report. So if we have any visitor hosts on the line, please do make sure that you talk with your vice president. The vice president does not need to record visitors via slips if people are using the visitor host program of the system. And that is done through the operations chapter. And then add a visitor. So as people add visitors to the chapter, the person that they select from the drop-down list will get the credit in the POMS report for that visitor. 
All right, we have a couple of questions here that I want to get to. I know we're approaching the bottom of the hour here. Carol says, using this effectively presumes active use of the BNI system. What happens when all of the members are not using the BNI Connect? Pros and cons. Absolutely, you do need to log into BNI Connect to be able to use this function. So members that um, have not yet logged into BNI Connect, they will not be able to enter these slips online. They would be just entering them in manually using paper. Um, I can tell you my personal chapter, uh, I'm in the Wakefield chapter, we have about 50 members in our chapter. Now, six, seven months ago, I substituted for a vice president who was out for a couple of weeks. I can tell you that with the paper slips, it took me about an hour to an hour and a half to enter all of those slips online because you know, you're just scrolling up and down the list and entering you know, who received it, who gave it, who received it, who gave it, the one-to-one. The -one. So it's a lot of a lot of work to get that information into the POMS report. Right now, about 60% of our chapter is entering these slips online, and our vice president uh, has said that it, it now takes her 20 to 30 minutes to complete the POMS report on a weekly basis. Plus, it does give me the ability to do all of this tracking for myself that I had to do manually before. Carol has another question. Um, who do we contact with further questions on using the system? So if you need more information on this, we do have a ton of stuff in the support section. So if you are in BNI Connect, click on this question mark in the upper right-hand corner. This will bring you to the support site. Now the support site, uh, these are our upcoming webinars, and if you scroll down to the bottom, there is a training section. In this training section, we have documented every single function from a member level. Uh, that you could possibly access, including a whole section on the online slips. So if you click into the online slip section and you need to remember how to enter a one-to-one -one online, here's a guide for you to go through step-by-step -step on how to do that. If you have further questions, when you are on the support site, there is an option to submit a request at the top. So you can send a request into the support staff here and we'd be happy to answer those questions for you. Of course, your regional office, um, in this case, uh, Carol, I think you're in the Rhode Island, Massachusetts area, you can absolutely contact Lauren in the office and she can help you. So we are at the bottom of the hour for those people that do need to leave today, uh, leave right now. Uh, thank you so much for being here. If you thought that this was useful, please do. Uh, a great referral for me is to go back to your chapter, let your other chapter members know about these webinars. And we do have webinars on a ton of different topics. Uh, our, next up, our next scheduled webinar is on March 26th at 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern. And that one's on the social media functions of BNI Connect, so how to connect with other people worldwide, how to participate in groups, how to leave testimonials. Um, so please do register for that one, and please get your chapter members on board with it as well. So do we have any other questions? And again, this webinar is recorded. Uh, once it has done all of its back-end processing, I will be uploading it to youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. There are previous copies of this webinar with slightly different questions um, up there already. So if you need to review it, you can go there to review that. And again, you can follow us on facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. All right, I think I've answered all of the questions. Do we have any additional questions? I'd be happy to uh, answer those at this time. Excellent. So again, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, hope you have a wonderful week and happy connecting everyone. Have a great day.